Welcome to Endgame Finance. Today guys, I'm going to talk about Lucid Motors once again. The more I keep looking into this company, the more red flags I just keep seeing. Lucid CEO's 379 million annual pay draws criticism from Elon Musk. Elon Musk says, beware any company where leadership compensation is not linked to performance. So beware of any company that's rewarding CEOs regardless of what's happening to the production line, what's happening to the stock price, and what's happening to the company overall. Rollins, the CEO of Lucid Motors, received $379 million compensation package in 2022 for his role at Lucid, including $575,000 base salary, $5.5 million of stock options, and the incredible $373 million in stock award. Meanwhile, Lucid stock fell more than 82% in 2022 and the company earned a total revenue of just $608 million. CEO got paid almost 60% of the total revenues the company earned. Now this is not even profits, this is not even the cash that's going to the bottom line. These are revenues that are still based on massive losses. And salary of the CEO is contributing towards those losses. That is pretty insane. Rollinson's total compensation 2022 was 11 times greater than 34 million earned by the second highest paid CEO of General Motors, Mary Barra. That's pretty crazy. So this guy is the most paid automotive CEO in the industry currently. However, his company is not even making any money. CEOs at fellow EV startups such as Rivian Automotive earned roughly $1 million in 2022 even though the company Rivian is now worth $22 billion or 50% more than Lucid Motors. So you can see this comparison between Lucid and Rivian. Rivian is actually producing massive amounts of vehicles. They will produce 52,000 vehicles at least this year. What's even more insane, Lucid Motors is losing $500,000 for every car it sells. So they're losing half a million dollars for every vehicle they sell. And CEO is still getting this crazy compensation. If you reduce these costs by 90% to maybe a few thousand dollars, that would sort of make sense that he got this massive payout. However, this guy is getting all this cash and his company is bleeding green. They're bleeding money. They're just burning cash. They're throwing, they're shoveling cash into the incinerator. Meanwhile, this guy is getting the biggest compensation in the automotive industry. Second quarter of this year, Lucid Motors reported a staggering net loss of $764 million. That's pretty insane. This comes despite the company generating revenues of $150 million. He only has about $5 billion in cash left. At this burn rate, this company will be bankrupt by the end of 2025 unless they go back to Saudi Arabia and beg the prince or king or whoever they have out there for more money, for a couple more billion dollars. Will this guy give him the cash? That's pretty questionable because they're incinerating his money. They're basically burning all of Saudi Arabia's cash. And the CEO is the biggest contributor towards that money burn. Basically, the king or prince of Saudi Arabia gave this guy $400 million cash to run an unprofitable and failing business. At some point, I think or assume the Saudis will just realize, hey, we cannot afford to just keep shoveling cash into the incinerator. We cannot afford to keep losing billions and billions of dollars without anything to show for it. So I believe 2025, at the end of the year, Saudis will say no, no more money, and this company will go bankrupt. The current rate of loss per vehicle is extremely unsustainable in the long term and raises serious questions about Lucid's, Lucid's business model. I mean, they're losing half a million dollars per vehicle sold. They lost $760 million in one quarter. The CEO made over $300 million last year. I mean, None of this math really adds up, and this is why I think Lucid is a loser. This is a loser stock. This is a stock that will be out of business fairly soon. I believe by the end of 2025, Lucid will be forced to shut down. I mean, they have nothing to show for. 
all these billions and billions of dollars of cash just burn. The company will need to significantly increase their sales, sales volume, reduce production costs, or find some other alternative streams of revenue to offset these losses. However, I'm not seeing any paths forward. This company has no software. They have no self-driving that can bring them an additional capital. They have no supercharging network that can bring them additional revenues. These guys have no scale. They're selling premium sedans. People don't want sedans anymore. They want big SUV, especially if they're gonna spend $200,000. They want Bentleys, they want Range Rovers, they want Rivians, they want a Model X. They don't want a sedan that costs quarter million dollars. I mean, what were these guys thinking? This company is just so ill-conceived. Every aspect of their business model is just wrong. And I think by 2025, end of 2025, people will just realize this, their funding will dry up. I suspect this will happen probably even sooner. I think the Saudi Arabia will try to salvage at least some money from this company. I think they will probably take it private or just sell the parts of this company to recoup some of their losses. Because if they just keep going on this route, if they just keep funding loses, they will lose 20, 30, billion dollars of just pure cash no one's gonna give them any more money no one's gonna keep giving money to a losing company so saudi arabia will have to pay all the costs to keep this company running those costs can run up to 20 or 30 billion dollars of cash we've seen this with uh, tesla tesla required 20 30 billion dollars cash injections however tesla had such a good product that they were just able to raise money from current investors and just to keep selling more and more shares because people just believe in the company and can't buy in these shares. However, this will not be the case with Lucid. Lucid will be solely dependent on Saudi Arabia until the king or the prince or whoever rules there just says no more. There's nothing they can do in the next five years that would change my mind that would make me reconsider investing in this company. I would personally sell every single share I own and just take the tax harvesting on the losses I take on the shares invested and bought previously. That's it guys. If you disagree, please let me know below. Subscribe, like and share and guys as always have a great day.